my eyes Do I want to stay? If you thought you weren't made that way It's the choices we make We give and take And I know you keep trying Said I think I know what you mean Pretty good for a dumb machine You gave me that smile We stood there for a while That was when you woke me up Hello friends and family, welcome to Creating This Home. Welcome, if you are new here, I am Kayla, a married mother with five children and today I am in my girl's bedroom and I am going to be tackling an extreme clean with me today in their bedroom. So first I am starting out with just giving you a quick overview of their room and how it is looking now. It's not too bad, but it's rough enough to get an extreme clean with me done in here. I am going to be decluttering. I'm going to be cleaning. I'm going to be organizing some of the things. And most importantly, and the best part of it all is that I am going to be motivating. <laughs> so make sure you stay tuned so that you can get all of the above done with me in this video. All right, so I do wanna put a quick disclaimer out before I get into the video. There is blood involved. My daughter had a nosebleed on her bed and you will see it all over her pillows, on her bed sheet, and as well as I definitely had to get it cleaned. So you will be seeing a bit of that. If you're squeamish, just skip over and continue with the video. If not, you know, hey, <laughs> life happens and it happens to everyone. And this is what I was talking about. Um, my daughter had a nosebleed. Thank God it did not go through to her uh, actual mattress, but it did penetrate her sheets and it got on her other mattress protector, which I was able to change the sheets and the mattress protector because we keep quite a few just for these reasons. And uh, you know, if there's an accident or if there's a nosebleed or if there's something that happens on the bed, we are able to protect the mattress. So that was a blessing. However, I've gotten the sheets taken off of her bed, gotten her mattress protector put on, and now I'm working on my other daughter's bed, Celeste. <laughs> she is 10 years old, soon to be 11, and her bed, you know, they sleep together most of the time, my two daughters. I don't know why, they're just very close like that, but they, these little twin beds, I just couldn't imagine trying to squish myself in there with my little sister or my big sister, but they do it. <laughs> <laughs> Not only do they share a room, my seven-year-old and my 10-year-old, but they are very close. They are so close that, you know, if you ask one a question, they'll both answer it together. Or if you ask the other a question, one would finish the other sentence. And it's amazing. You would think they're twins, but they're not. <laughs> so I'm getting their beds made and... I am just finding so much joy in the fact that yes, I have the things to make their beds and I'm just feeling so blessed because I have a closet full of sheets and blankets and quilts and throw blankets that I, you know, I'm able to change out their bedding at least once a week. Sometimes it gets done twice a week. This is the room that I certainly make sure that the sheets are changed on and the quilts are changed on because my daughter has quite frequent nosebleeds and we've taken her to the doctor. We're getting it all figured out. Um, so I am just so thankful that I have the equipment and all the sheets and stuff. And here I bought them some Encanto pillows. <laughs> and I did buy new pillows for the bed because the other ones had gotten ruined by my daughter Joanna's nosebleeds. So I figured I would put these uh, hypoallergenic um, pillowcases up there. And what they do is re reduce stains and reduce sweat and reduce all that kind of stuff from pit penetrating the pillow so I am just finding myself in a completely grateful 
situation where I'm able to afford to do these things for my children. Not just that, but I'm just so grateful to God to be able to be a mom that cares about these things. So I'm going to move along, get their beds made. And then after that, we will start cleaning. So you'll see here, this is where my daughter had her nosebleed on this pillow. And thank God they are very far and few in between now because they used to happen very often. But now that we're working with a team of doctors and it's getting under control and they're getting it under control, um, I'm just so thankful that she's having the nosebleeds less often now versus, you know, when she was having them more often. So these little pillows, those are little Encanto pillows. My daughters were so geeked out over. They loved them. They absolutely came upstairs and squealed and squealed and squealed. <laughs> Mommy Encanto. Mommy, thank you so much. You got us Encanto. And I was like, yeah, you know, this is that is one of my favorite parts of about being a mom is just being able to transform their room or transform anything and make it better for them and, th and then seeing their reactions and how they just absolutely love whatever it is that I have done for them that makes my heart full of joy <laughs> I love my baby girls I love my baby boys too but I, I absolutely love being a girl mom. It's just something that is so precious and so joyful. And, and I'm just so thankful that God has given me the opportunity to not have one daughter, but three daughters. So my oldest daughter is soon to be 13 in March. I also have a daughter that is going to be 11 in March as well. <laughs> and then my youngest baby girl, who is seven she won't be eight until august so she's recently turned seven and she's loving everything about her big girl number seven <laughs> i don't blame her she is like you know seven is a big number to her and if you ask her what's the biggest number she knows she says 107 so you know that is just so beautiful that she feels like seven is a big number and that she's just ready and loving on life and just taking it day by day and just growing my kids are growing like weeds i kid you not <laughs> and to have five of them growing all at the same time i swear it's a blessing to sit back and just think and just reminisce on how small they were yesterday just yesterday not even 10 years ago but 10 years ago as well and to think they were all babies then you know or i had two babies then and then you know soon after that having the last three and wow i just think about how fast they grow and how little time i have left with them even though they're preteens and still small it's just I, I just love loving on my family y'all <laughs> I just love being there and loving on my family and being able to be a supportive mom and being able to be such a great influence to my children and being able to set an example for my children and I, I just tell you God has been good in my life so that I can be able to stay home with my children my husband works to provide for us and I thank God for his help so that he can continue to provide for us and so that I can do things like get in their rooms and declutter organize clean and also I can you know film while doing it and have a hobby while I'm in the process of filming <laughs> and motivating and encouraging others it's just beautiful i tell you i wouldn't trade my life for anything and if you're going through anything in life put me on your tv put me on your phone put me on your tablet in your ear on your bluetooth speaker it doesn't matter we can all do this together you don't need things to make you happy you know as long as you can find joy and being alive and as long as you can find joy just a small little bit of joy in the fact that you are still breathing that's all that matters 
you know i know that getting on youtube and seeing everybody with nice houses or you know um a lot of things or these nice cars and so forth and so on can be made to be intimidating sometimes but i'm here to let you know that i'm just a cleaning mama i i'm here just to clean and to motivate i am here in my daughter's room right now organizing their books <laughs> while i'm cleaning while i'm decluttering and just being thankful for life in general not you know the things because truthfully the things will overwhelm you so that you feel less appreciative about them but if you just thank god for life and live your life you know the moments become more precious but enough of me rambling on <laughs> I am now decluttering my girls' books, as I said, their basket where they have all of their little baby doll clothes and um, their little baby doll accessories. I'm just decluttering that because they tend to shove everything in these baskets and then they become overwhelmingly full and not only are they overwhelmingly full, but they're full of stuff that just doesn't it doesn't belong you know so my girls have a habit of doing that which is okay because you know that's what these baskets are for is to house their toys and their little doll clothes and accessories as i stated before but i'm gonna get this job done and then i'm gonna move on to the next thing that we're doing however i will mention in this video do y'all see how all the pictures are crooked <laughs> I did not notice this until I was watching this this video back and I noticed that all the pictures on the walls are crooked and I was like you know what I came in here to, to declutter to organize and to clean I did not even think about fixing the pictures on the walls so after I seen this video when I watched it back I definitely went up there and straightened out the pictures or the frames on the walls <laughs> because it was it was driving me a little bit insane <laughs> now I have moved on to their other little section and this is where they house more books and this is where they sit down and it's like a little nook over here a little book nook where they can just sit down and read their books and just have a good time and i also i bought this um little i don't know what this is it's like a rattan wicker basket type thing and it's storage and i bought it from big lots for like 20 dollars i kid you not and i was just trying to play around to see where i was going to put it at i ended up putting it um next in between their beds but here you see that i'm putting it under the little book nook and i didn't like it there so i moved it and once i moved it though and it was all set up and in the place that it belonged and i felt like it was good which you see it now it's right underneath their window i felt really good about it and i asked them i was like do you want mommy to leave it here or would you like mommy to put it under your window and they said under the window so that it looked best there and that's where we left it <laughs> so now i'm just vacuuming and after i vacuum i will hop back up here i know you want to get to know me uh -huh. but honestly i came with my girls want to dance by ourselves can't you tell baby baby i have thick skin yeah i don't let things get to me but do you want me to spell it out for you right now i'm not feeling your vibe Crystal clear that you're head over heels But don't come any closer, my dear Cause when I get mad, I cannot control what might happen You think you can Put your hands on my body I'm no damsel in distress Come too close, I might just lose it I knock you down like boom, 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 boom I knock you down like boom, 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 boom. Don't come any closer, my dear 
cannot control what might happen You think you can Put your hands on my body I'm no damsel in distress Come too close, I might just lose it I knock you down like boom, boom, boom So now that I have gotten their room all vacuumed, I'm just going to go ahead and proceed to wipe down their dresser just like I wiped down their desk. I am not going to be wiping down their other little um, dressers because I had recently just wiped those down where their diffusers are. I did not start the diffusers in the video because I allowed my girls to start their own diffusers. They love doing it. They love putting the water and picking the essential oils. So I saved that for them, but I am just getting their dresser cleaned and wiped down now. And as soon as I do this, I am going to move on to wiping their mirror down. And that mirror that I was wiping down, their mirror that I was wiping down, it was quite gross. It hadn't been wiped down in a few weeks and <laughs> my girls stay in the mirror they love their girls <laughs> They love the mirror. They love playing with the little baby dolls in the mirror. They see me um, filming, so they do the same thing on their little camera. They have a camera where they uh, are able to make little videos and, you know, just produce little mini series and they love that doing that with their little doll babies. And I love seeing their videos that they bring to me and tell me, mommy, look. I made a video so <laughs> it's just so cute such a blessing but here's their room and the overview of their room now that we have their room all um, vacuumed we have it decluttered organized I've also changed their beddings and I have certainly came in here and gave it the mom touch <laughs> their room is looking so much better the only thing that I bought for this room at this particular time was just new pillows because the other ones were ruined and I got them the little Encanto pillows that they just love having and the yeah the room turned out really really nice so I am so happy and proud for them I'm so thankful for them and I am certainly feeling so grateful for them because I know that they got in this room and they were just like, yes, <laughs> it's clean, it's organized, it's decluttered. The floors have been vacuumed. Not that my girls can't do this because they have chores where they vacuum their room and they have to make their beds. And again, they're seven and 10, you know, they fold their clothes when I ask them to, but most of the time I do the laundry and then they'll put it away. So I'm headed into their bathroom now and I'm gonna go ahead and get this bathroom clean. So 
some of you may remember the last time I cleaned this bathroom. It was a hot mess express. <laughs> so it needed some help, some desperate help. The bathtub needed attention. The toilet needed some extra attention. It just needed all the attention. <laughs> I did. I got in here and I scrubbed it out. Um, a couple videos back if you don't know what I'm talking about I will leave a link down in the description box below and you can check out that video where I solely dedicated it to cleaning my daughter's closet and their bathroom since I have cleaned their bathroom they have certainly loved using this bathroom a lot more it did take for me to come in here and get my mama hands dirty and really get in here and scrub a dub dub y'all <laughs> and get it clean for them to come in here and start utilizing their bathroom again. Not to say that they were not using the bathroom. They prefer to take baths in a bigger bathtub. And I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> Who wouldn't? I would love to take a bath in a bigger bathtub if I had a bigger bathtub to access as well. So um, they typically take showers in my daughter's bathroom and then they take baths in my bathtub because I have the biggest bathtub, of course, in the house. So my girls don't utilize this bathroom much. Even though it's upstairs, it's in their room, they do use it to use the restroom. Um, and to brush their teeth, but that is it. As far as like showering and things like that, they only use it during the hot season or the warm season when we go to the beach to rinse off all the sand and so forth and so on. But because I had already cleaned this bathroom, <laughs> it was quite easy for me to get in here and just do a retouch or a touch up or a refresh of this bathroom. Nothing was really definitely dirty you know what i mean like even the toilet looks so much better than what it did before i got in here and cleaned it last time the last time i cleaned this bathroom y'all i was praying i needed some help <laughs> but it's all right i got it done and i'm getting it done today so that is what i'm doing is refreshing their bathroom just touching it up and vacuuming the floor cleaning the toilet bowl refreshing their toilet paper you know wiping down the sink the mirror we're gonna get it all done in this bathroom all done I have moved on to wiping down their countertop, which is just a little sink that they have. And I'm only using the Growth Collaborative Multi-Purpose Surface Cleaner. Y'all know that is my go-to cleaner. I absolutely love any Growth products. I haven't run across a product from Growth Collaborative that I have not liked. I always am just very thankful and grateful for um, the cleaning products that I have on hand and typically what I have on hand is from Grove Collaborative. If you don't know about them, I will also leave that link down in the description box below and you can check them out for yourself because they have so many amazing things. They have um, house and home cleaner. They also have pet things. They have you know so many things for everything not just for household cleaners they have things for you know multivitamins they have makeup lip balms everything you know but they are an all-in-one company when it comes down to um cleaning and household essentials and things like that i really enjoy them so that's why i utilize their company a lot so mo most of the products if not all of my products are from grove collaborative i really love the meaning that they have and the everything that they stand for how they're non-toxic environment friendly pet friendly as well so that your pets can um 
be comfortable after you clean and they're not having little itchy paws or they're not having any allergic reactions to any of the heavier toxic cleaners so i really do like that about this company um this is not sponsored <laughs> just me saying that i really do enjoy this company so i'm wiping down the mirror and i have gotten that wiped down and i am so truly thankful and grateful for each and all of you that click on these videos that i make and that you watch them all the way Way into the end and I'm so thankful for you um, spending your time with me and allowing me to motivate you again you know if you have a TV or a cell phone I'm sure you do tablet um, Bluetooth earbuds put me on your TV put me on your tablet put me on your phone whatever it may be you know we can do homemaking together you don't have to do it alone I always say that in every video so that you all know that you are in a comfortable environment not only are you in a comfortable environment but you also have a friend here that's doing the same thing and I just want to motivate you and let you know that you know I love you God loves you and you are all amazing I I truly thank you for hanging out with me today and I truly appreciate each and all of you who click that thumbs up subscribe and also hit that notification bell y'all are the bomb.com <laughs> creating this home is over 800 right now and it blows my mind it absolutely blows my mind you all are my family and friends and i just could not imagine doing life without you or i could not imagine being on youtube and not being able to connect with all of you so make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know where you are in the world also let me know if you're a homemaker or if you're a stay-at-home mom or if you are a mom or a papa as well you know if you're a papa let me know that too you know i love to encourage and motivate my papas as well but thank you all for watching i will certainly see you on the next one bye for you now